guys, how you doing? What's up? This is John Juicy Hall. We are Retalks. We on the air right now. My boy John Higgy couldn't be right now. He had to do some business in uh, Las Vegas. But I got my boy, the Snyder, the replacement Woo! co-host tonight. Hey, John, come on, people. All right, uh, so let's get right into it. Um, show's a little bit short today. Uh, so, John Howard, you are fighting Brian Ebersol. Ebersol. Eber it wears women's souls. He has no soul. What, what's his name? Uh, he has no soul. He wears women's souls. I don't know what his problem is, but it, he's crazy, man. He called me out, and he was confused. He wasn't sure. He said something. He wanted to fight. He had, he had asked permission from another man to fight me. I'm like, Brian, are you serious? I signed my about agreement weeks ago. You just signed it now. Ridiculous. So it speaks what kind of man he is right there in there. I mean, so. I have him right now. It's, you know, it's quote, uh, quote, coach. <laughs> He said, I Coach, no, he said, Coach, my body's ready. Coach, can I ask you permission to fight? Coach, can you touch my body for me? I'm not sure. And I understand the whole, <laughs> what, what, what's up with all, with all the, uh, the the crap talking? He's, he's saying that he's going to send you to Saturn and the Rocket. You know, worst comes to worst, if you lose your fight, you, you can be the first man on Saturn. That's great. You know? That's great, yeah. Awesome. You know what? No, I'm telling you, for the fans out there, not only if you send me to Saturn, thank you. I drive to Saturn. What up, baby? But you know what? <laughs> it doesn't matter because if you pick me up and slam me, which you're not going to Oh, I'm gonna knock you out. You've never been hit by me, and we'll put you to sleep. But talking trash, I can't wait. So UFC 178, and this is how we're gonna do it. MGM UFC 178. Um, it's, he's gonna be the first fight on the main card. Brian Eversoul versus John Doomsday Howard. Let's get it. Um, so right now, let's get right into it. Uh, we have Charlie Robbins right now, owner of Sacred Edition. What up? What up? Um, so Charlie, tell me, um, what, what's going on with you, man? A couple new things going down at the shop. We got uh, we got a couple new artists. One's only here for a little while. She's we're just kind of housing her for a little bit. Brandy Pops, she's a really good tattooer. Uh, we got a boyfriend with us too, Robbie Miller, awesome tattooer up from PA. So he's kind of wide open with his schedule, but I mean he should be as booked as me. He's, he's really good. So. Oh yeah, no man, I've always so. been a fan of you. And as of recently, there's been a, a widespread controversy up in Canada due to a tattoo that you, that you have. What, what's oh, that yeah. all about? Oh, yeah. Well, what it was was Lyndon Byers had done a bet, and he lost the bet, and the bet was that he was to get a Canadian tat. So he came at me for it, and I said, hey, I'm not a real sports fan, so let me see what I can do. And I, the whole water bottle thing kind of like came to mind, so I figured I'd try to get a play on that, and it was kind of my way. Uh, back to Canada because they kind of screwed me on a bachelor party a couple years ago. Yo, I like it, I like it, man. I saw the tattoo, man. And also, I'm from Boston, man. Yo, you are from Boston, well, I represent. But I heard, man, I heard, this is just rumor now, that it got on a Canadian Facebook page or a website page or something like that. It got over 900 hits in like, what, a few hours? That's insane. Oh, not even. It was like 5,000 comments on it. It was some like radio 5, talk show 5, or whatever. 5,000. Uh, bro, it was like all dudes from like Boston and Canada going back and forth. What? Like, <laughs> I was ill. I was just sitting back watching. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was like three, four days of just Facebook battles. People going back and forth. It was awesome. Yeah, so we're live on the show right now. I have a girl tapping me on the there's a whole buffet over there, right? <laughs> Go to the buffet for Christ's sake. Leave me alone. Chicken heads look at the chicken tenders. What is Go wrong figure. with people? Well, what's wrong with this chick? These, these girls are crazy. They're, they're all here for that, you know, the superstar yeah, bachelor. Because uh, Mike Wilson's hey, here. Yeah, right? Wilson, yeah. What, that's, yeah, that's, that's why they're here, because Mike Wilson. Mike Wilson's going to be that's here. Right, that's right. That's right. So oh, that, that, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. He's going to be up coming up next. So, Charlie, what the fuck does this guy want? I have no idea, man. I know that, that guy's all drunk and everything. Yeah, yeah he's like, See, this, this is what happens when you have a radio show with people behind you. We do with a retox, hey. baby. It's the best. <laughs> Drinking a butt light. Here we go. All right, so Charlie, what, what else you got going on, man? You having uh, geez, whoa, we got an explosion over here. Um, Charlie, you have an 800 square foot edition that you're uh, you're adding on to the tattoo shop. No one really knows about. Like you want to yeah, we, right now? we've always been known. All all everything that like reviews and stuff that has come up has been like you know a small shop with with huge talent, and now we're a huge shop with even more talent. So we got another 800 square feet out back. Another four stations. We were four stations before. We now we have eight. You know they're not all full because you know I'm very picky on who all that work there. That's great. I've man. searched for a year and a half. And I've only hired two people in that year and a half. And, so. it, and it's well deserved, man. You know, I, I've always known you to be a hard worker. You know, we go back years and years. Um, so 
uh, t tell the people, how can people get in contact with Sacred Edition, get in contact with you and all your other, other tattoo artists? The best way to get in touch with us is come down to the shop. You know, you can shoot me an email if you want, charlieinkman37 at gmail. But the best way is to come down to the shop, speak with one of the artists, we'll pair you up with somebody or who, who you request. You know, we'll do a quick little consult, we'll get you an appointment, we'll do a quick review when you come in, depending on who the artist is. Some of us like to get a little readier than others. Some of us, you know, our schedule doesn't allow us to. So, quick review. We'll draw something up nice and custom for you. Get you in the chair. Doomsday, whenever you're done with that, you can go by my house. It's a mess right now. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> I'm um, a maid. You see, John just how to clean up like a maid. Hey, it's get okay. one of these chicks back here to clean it up, bro. I know, right? Hey, yeah, hey, of them. hey, get hey, the bachelor hey, guy over hey, here. They're all hey, back. Hey, hey. Oh, they're not responding. Yeah. <laughs> get the bachelor guy back over here. They'll come back this way. Now, you, you just sent a uh, picture of you and Doomsday to your wife. And what, what was her response? <laughs> she said he looks like a pussy. <laughs> and she could probably kick his ass. We have another fight for you, Doomsday. <laughs> As uh, I'm his, I love my his wife. wife. I don't want to fight his wife and everything, but she called right, me a right straight now. pussy. I'm What's sorry, with yeah, that? Yeah, we have I'm like a pussy. I'm like a pussy, really? really? She's going to be your next fight, bro. She's <laughs> calling you out. That'll be a sick fight. But you know what? I, really ca I am kind of nervous because if she's your wife, that means she must be a bad. <laughs> hey, she's hot, bro. I wouldn't. I, I love rolling around with her. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. God bless. Man. God bless. Um, we have uh, Pat Murray over here. He's taking pictures. He was just trying to say something to me about But what? What's up, bro? You trying to say uh, we, we conversating right now on the live on radio station? This is Mom, we do Mom's it. medibles? Awesome. Well, I'm snap I love it. I love it. All right, crazy. Mom's the word. That's right, crazy. Word. I have no idea what the hell this kid's talking about, but sure. Um, real quick, uh, I just wanted to touch on. Um, there is a, a very good friend of mine who goes to my gym, Victory Combat Academy, uh, Jim French, and he wanted me to, to, to just give a quick shout out to. Uh, Paul McIntyre, uh, unfortunately, he has uh, been diagnosed with terminal cancer. Uh, as of a week ago, he has, uh, he has two weeks to live. GoFundMe. Um, you can actually go on the GoFundMe and uh, look up uh, Paul McIntyre from Quincy. Um, the goal is uh, 10000 and as of today, they've reached $2,000. So you guys can go there. You know, it's, it's all going to be donated to a good cause or a cancer benefit. So please go on the GoFundMe. Um, my heart bleeds for you, Paul McIntyre, honestly. Just uh, you know, keep high hopes and always keep a smile. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We appreciate it, and um, it's amazing. You got two thousand dollars already. The goal is ten thousand, and I know we, we, we could do better. Come on, Boston, let's do it. Not only Boston, whole nationwide, statewide, USA wide. Let's do it, baby. Let's let's get this rate. Let's get this raised up to ten thousand. Let's meet the goal. Not no matter fact, let's not meet the goal. Let's beat the goal. Let's yeah. do that. Beat the goal, got man. a couple weeks, man. Yeah, but we gotta do it. Gotta do it. So look, another thing I want to touch on: big MMA news. If y'all didn't know, John Jones from UFC 178 uh -huh. has pulled out, pulled out the main event. It's a uh, he has a leg injury, correct? Leg injury. He has a leg injury. I don't know what happened. What the trainer is, but it must have been that serious of him to train that hard for a fight and get a leg injury. And John Jones never got injured to a point where. He had a pull from a fight, so you know the beef is serious. Now, the, the big thing, the, my big uh, quarrel with this whole thing is that Daniel Cormier has actually sustained a knee injury um, during this whole thing, and he was actually going to go through with the fight. Now, uh, what, what's your thoughts on that? I, th I think Dan is just much more hungry. Dan Cormier is a beast. He came into a fight. He was a heavyweight knight to a fight with fighter, and I think he just wants it more. You know, John Jones is more comfortable in been a wheelchair for some time right now, and you know he just want to be cautious. He doesn't want to lose, you know, his king spot. Daniel doesn't matter. He he's ready to go. He fights the pain, and I don't blame him. But opportunity like that, I don't care. My knee was halfway off. I'll do the same thing. So big up to Dan for keep fighting through the pain. John Jones, I love Yo. you, man. But what up, baby? What up? So so moving moving right along, man. Um, well, wait, what's, the, what's some of the other subjects you want to talk about tonight? Up? Oh, I got I got something I want to talk about. I got something to talking about. Mom. Yo. War Machine, a.k.a. I'm not going to say it because we're, we're watching. We're going to be good. War Machine. His girlfriend, Christy McAroos, is a porn star, a famous porn star, because... Because he walked in on her having sex with another man, and that's why he beat her now, down you're a to another fighter. point. Now, listen, man, if you, you've been training for so long, you're a pro fighter, and you actually, you know, you're knowledgeable in how to beat someone's, all right? 
you're not supposed to hit a woman, all right? It's not fair. You, you don't hit a woman no matter what. No matter what, untrained or not, now, you don't hit a woman. Now, that when, that when you're a trained mixed martial artist, you've been in the UFC, you've been in the Bellator, and you beat a girl who is two, three times smaller than you. Are you kidding me? Regardless of what the story is, do not hit women, all right? You know, you, you, she, she cannot defend herself. I don't care. You know, she's sleeping with another guy. Good, walk away. You know, if the guy attacks you, you're a trained fighter. What the hell is he doing anyways? You know, it, it, you, you got to walk away from these situations because now look at you, man. You're all over the media, and everybody thinks you're a coward. It's not, unfortunate. Not, not only that, yo, you know how personally I feel about you. We're going to get into that, into that a little later on, but... You ruin your career. You cannot ever never fight be a mixed martial arts again. Not in this country. You don't have to travel outside the country to be a mixed martial arts. You're not you ruin yourself. You are a stupid fool for what you did. You are a trained fighter, a lethal weapon, and how dare you do that? I am disgusted and disappointed in War Machine. Everybody knows why I really call him, but I can't because I gotta be a good boy tonight. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're, we're wrapping up the show pretty quickly, so uh, let's get Mike Wilson on here. Where, where did he, uh, he took off somewhere? I think he's Where's getting Mike? Me a drink. Uh, he went to the bathroom, so he left the gym. <laughs> so, hey, he did a drink. Hey, we'll keep it going. going. That's, hey, go. That's Mike Wilson for you, but listen, check this out. So. The he beef is, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna get to the beef real quick. I call War Machine out on his, and people, you know, respond to me, some negative, some positive. But I'm a six in my world, War Machine. I feel the way I feel because I have three daughters, a mother, and I have an auntie who went through that abusive relationship. That if you was in the UFC, I will whoop that. Woo! I Lucky think you I can't say it, baby. Ass. Lucky you can say it. All right, on a positive note, um, for all the uh, negative spectators out there and everybody that's been making allegations that ALS is not doing anything, Time Magazine, the reputable, reputable source, um, has actually released five, it's $5.5 million in comparison to $32,000 last year, um, and they have 150,000 new donors since July 29th. So, once again, Terry, eh, all right? Anyways, did you guys do that shit? I you did. Bucket? I did. Yeah. Wait, 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 I did. Yo, no, no, I did a little different. My crazy butt jumped in the cold water bucket and it had to jump over me. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you something. You know, I'm black. I don't like cold water. <laughs> I don't like, you don't like water. Baby. I don't like water. Baby. All that, so getting some cold water wasn't fun for me. Yeah. But I did it for a good cause. So this shows you, even though I don't like water and I can't swim, the, the I did it. Day, I did it for a good cause. So should I do it? Day, you should absolutely. Should I, I? I did it. Doomsday did it. Everybody's doing it. You know Everybody what? Do it. I got nominated. Everybody's doing it. Do it. Do it. Wasn't you guys do it. Do it. I nominate you. Yeah, I am nominating someone. He just wanted someone to pour it on their nuts. So maybe I'll do that. Right? Boom. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's raising awareness. It is actually working. People are spilling drinks everywhere. There's, there's crazy women all over this bar. Guys, come every single Friday to the greatest bar. All right, uh, John, John Howard, you're going to be a uh, cheerleader. leader. You guys want to get Mike yeah. up here? Yeah, we're good. The bike. Oh, Mike, come on. You got to go on. We got Mike. We got to do a real bike. Mike, go on. Second edition tattoo. Come see us. Thank you. Perfect. All right, so we go, we trade the moves right here real quick. Yeah. Pass him the microphone when you do it real quick. No, you're saying we started in five seconds. Oh. I guess we're back. Oh. <laughs> and we're back. That was how, a beautiful communication. How much do we have on the show? All right, so we got three minutes right, left. We got three minutes. I thought we had 30 right, seconds to, to get Mike right, across. To the fans right, right now, I apologize. But this is happening live as we go, so I apologize for the communication. But you know what? That's the best part about this show, because it's happening Woo! live. That there's no editing, there's no bullet, no BS. It's just real talk, real action. Straight to the Here point. Here are talks. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So anyways, Mike Wilson with Capital Vice Apparel. Yes. Uh, you recently came out for Pat Walsh's fight, which I cornered, um, out in Vegas. Uh, let, let's let's talk about why Mike Wilson shouldn't go to Las Vegas. 
A couple points I'd just like to make. Mike Wilson, he got teabagged out in Vegas by my friend George Nassar. Pick up George Nassar. Number two, I told Mike Wilson not to gamble out in Vegas. Mike, for the love of God, stop gambling. He has a gambling addiction. Number three, Mike, your, your socks, you, you know, you, you have to you have to get new shoes, bro. I walked into your room, it smelled like a dirty gym sock that somebody wiped with their butt that's been sitting in it compounds. Was horrible. It was horrible. It, it, it's horrible. So now you're rocking some new shoes, correct? Correct. That's good. Nike. You know, and, and we're stepping up in the world. Kill it. All right, it's a wonderful thing. Mike, what else do you got to plug right now, man? So basically right now I just want to plug uh, www.catfightsgear.com. If we had $1,000 in one day, we get to fly out to Nashville, and we get to go meet with Journeys. We get picked up by Journeys, our life's basically changed. Let's talk about Capital Place. Let's get into it, man, because, I mean, I know I know you've been, like, you, you push so hard on this company, and, you know, like, you've been getting celebrities on this. You have yeah. Waka Flocka. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, you're involved with Paul Scally, who is the uh, the voice on the Geico commercial. Yep. Yeah, you, I mean, you're, you're, you're pushing out there, man. You're making some noise right now. No, so, absolutely. So, like, let, let, let's get into that. See, my main thing is uh, over the last two weeks, we got uh, sponsored by Ink Nation, so... What we ended up doing was we ended up reaching the UK, we ended up reaching um, Canada, and our biggest thing was we had 85 sales last week, all to everywhere but Massachusetts. Lovely. We got 45 the week prior, all in Mass. So we're actually building up, we're getting out there. Our main goal is to hit that $1,000 in one day. We get picked up by Journeys, everybody's life's changed, you know what I mean? Our circle of friends, everything we've been doing together from his UFC, your promotions, dude, Pat Walsh, everything. And we're building big right now. You know, the, the team is very strong. You know, we work with uh, Johnny Hickman. We got Doomsday. We got Pat Walsh. We got Mike Wilson, Pat Murray, Charlie Robbins, like all these Everybody. people. And, SJ, and my boy, together. SJ. We got to get SJ, SJ pumped. Yes. It wasn't for SJ. Now this is what happened. Thank you, SJ, man. Big up, SJ. Thank you, SJ. <laughs> um, so, I mean, what else, man? We got to roll. We got to roll. We got to talk about Robin Williams for the love of God. Oh, we got to talk about Robin Williams. Williams. We got to talk about Robin Let's do it. Robin Williams, all right? He was in, he was in Toys, Popeye, uh, Flubber. Started off on Mork and Mindy. Mrs. Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. Woo! Woo! That's really tragic. So, we got two minutes left. What can we fit in two minutes? I mean, other than that, I want to bring up the fact that my boy John Howard over here, even though he's a celebrity in Las Vegas, it was hilarious to walk down the strip with this dude, pretend to be DMX. Go ahead, give it to him, give it to him. What? what? What are you talking about? Yeah, look. Who's all the red nose right there? What? Hey, how you said he knows? Oh, come on. <laughs> so he right. literally walked down the strip and he started signing autographs as DMX when he's already a celebrity out he, in Vegas. He, he thought, all right, so like John Howard gets sense. approached a hell of a lot more when he goes out to Vegas. I'm a lot more love that, that you know out here. We were walking down the strip. We, you know, we, we just randomly came up with the fact that you know we could start doing DMX impersonations. People thought that he was DMX. He didn't realize that he wasn't signing as John Howard. He was signing as DMX. I, I, I really don't know did. how we got hey, to that point. Hey, hey, to the girls who see this, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It was me, it wasn't the DMX. Right. You didn't be DMX, you John Dubay Howard. But we can also make it up to him when we're there in September 27th. Yeah! Las Vegas, baby. For your fight where you're going to skyrocket into Saturn, right? Oh, yeah, I'm going to skyrocket and I'm going to smash Brian. Everybody. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. <laughs> That's his name. Wait, wait, wait. His name is everyone. No, no. You think you can pick him up? Hey, am I ready? Oh, Coach, yeah. is he you want to touch my body? You want to touch my body? Is my body ready? You want to touch me? Ah, oh, I'm ready. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. Hey, yo. We got one minute. We got even, one minute left, bro. Even, is that it? Is that, is that, is that, am I ready? Even, am, I, am, I ready? am I ready? Am I ready, Coach? Am I ready? No, 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 you're good. He's good. He's good. good. Okay, okay, I'm good. Okay, one thing, though. <laughs> even though he can kick my ass, he still looks like Moby. <laughs> I want to give it up for this. Yo. Thank you, Moby. So, listen, we got one minute left, guys. We want to thank all our guests. We want to thank our uh, retards. Uh, yo. Uh, Twitters, Twitters. Go Twitters. On. Yo, real quick. John Doomsday Howard on Twitter. John Doomsday Howard on uh, Facebook. John Doomsday on Snapchat. Check me out. Yo, shoot Check it. Check it out. Boston State of Mind on Facebook. Boston State of Mind ENT on Facebook. Check me out. John the Snyder on Twitter. J O N T H E S N E I D E R on Twitter. Mike, go ahead. How you Check doing? At Capital Vice Mike on Twitter. You're saying on how you doing? At I just forgot. Life, because uh, Coors Light doesn't pay me enough. Oh. So. <laughs> well, yeah. I have to say Bud Light is the right sponsor of the UFC, so Bud Light, Absolutely. here we at go. Ca at CapitalVoiceApparel.com. And, guys, that will wrap it up for the show. Thank you for watching and listening. Um, and uh, that's it, man. That's it. Hey, yo, we see you next week on Retalks. 
Thank you very much, Joe. Joe's a signer. Thank you for coming. Coming on. Coming on. Replacing us. And Mike the Vice. Oh, what up? Dodgers, we have it right here. Thank you very much for coming out. And we will see you soon on Retalks on Dirty Water TV.